Welcome back to another midweek moment during this season of Lent, as we do another Art Focus Lectio Divina. This week we'll be hearing from uh, Paul's letter to the Corinthians, uh, which was read on Sunday. We'll look at an art piece by Reverend Lauren Wright Pittman called New in Christ. So wherever you find yourself as you're watching this video, be find a place that is comfortable and where you can focus uh, for the next few minutes. This week's text is from 2 Corinthians 5, 16 through 21. And as I read it, just simply close your eyes, or you can use them to read along. Whichever way, just let God's word float around you, over you, inside you, and just listen to what Paul is saying here. Not for something in particular, but just simply to listen. So hear now the word of God. So then from this point on, We won't recognize people by human standards. Even though we used to know Christ by human standards, that isn't how we know him now. So then, if anyone is in Christ, that person is part of a new creation. The old things have gone away, and look, new things have arrived. All of these new things are from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ, and who gave us the ministry of reconciliation. In other words, God was reconciling the world to himself through Christ by not counting people's sins against them. He has trusted us with this message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors who represent Christ. God is negotiating with you through us. We beg you as Christ's representatives, be reconciled to God. God caused the one who did no sin to be sin for our sake so that through him, we could become the righteousness of God. So now take a minute and just soak in today's peace, new in Christ. Recognize what pulls your eyes, what is the first thing you see, what calls out to you during this time, what speaks to your soul today. This was the first image I used during my sermon on Sunday. So when you saw that, or if you saw it during a devotional this week, what was something that caught your eye? What was something that stood out to you? What calls to you? As you look at this piece, listen to the artist's explanation of why she created it. Hear the words from Reverend Lauren Wright Pittman. How does one imagine the transformation we experience in Christ? I began with the verse, so if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. When I closed my eyes and repeated this verse over and over again, I began to see the silhouette of a person filled with the echoes of the first creation narrative in Genesis. This came at no surprise to me, considering I think of the first creation narrative as in a radical fashion with the imagery of each day starting from the center and building in rings upon the next. Within this person experiencing new life in Christ, his imagery of the delineation of light and darkness, water and sky, water and earth. They contain seeds yielding vegetation and light of the sun and moon, the feathers of winged creatures and pattering wings of butterflies, and the closed buds of Sabbath. From there, the creation narrative begins again, continuing to ripple and move toward the edge of the figure. At the center of the creation narrative is a fire poppy, which symbolizes new life, for it grows and thrives in the ash following the destruction of a wildfire. 
A butterfly is posed on the flower, also representing new life, for it transforms from a caterpillar into an intricately designed, delicately winged creature. The poppy grows from the wounds of the golden finger, who is meant to personify the transformative love of Christ. The poppy grows from the wound of the golden figure, who is meant to personify the transformative love of Christ. The figure, one experiencing new life and the other sharing the love of Christ, embrace and dance, offering a new picture of what the ministry of reconciliation might look like. Now as we zoom in and out and around this piece, something new catching your eye? Is something else speaking to your soul now that you know the inspiration of the artist? What draws you closer to God in seeing this? How does this relate to your journey during this season of Lent? Let us close in prayer. Let us pray. In you, Christ, we are a new creation. In you, Christ, we are a new creation. In you, Christ, we are a new creation. May our lives reflect this reality, and may that new creation be revealed to all we meet and share life with. We thank you that out of your wounds, out of your sacrifice, we are reborn and remade. In you, Christ, we are a new creation. In you, Christ, we are a new creation. In you, Christ, we are a new creation. Amen.